Mental toughness in football is a huge aspect in the game. Yet no one talks about improving it or mental training at all. Well, what's the truth about mental toughness in football? How can we really improve it? Yeah, how? What's up, YouTube? It's Scotty Sports Performance with another YouTube video for today. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our Facebook page at Scotty Sports Performance and our blog, which the URL will be in the, the description. Well, one case is, yeah, you're soft. Yeah, I said it. I said you soft, so what? What you gonna do? What? Don't no man call me soft. I hate that, all right? Wait, wait, I said soft, so what? I said I spell it. S-O-F capital T. Soft. Huh? How you like that? What you gonna do, Claus? What you gonna do, huh? But the truth is, do you know why? You aren't soft because you haven't had a tough upbringing or because you don't look physically imposing. Not being soft has nothing to do with any of that. It has everything to do with your mind, which leads to my next point. Learning how to control your mind is by far the most important part of mental toughness in football. In the sport of football, whether it's practice or the game, you will come across tough times. Most players are aware of that and are in full controls of themselves in the game, but it's different to live it. It's very easy to fall victim to the things around you. Think of your body as peer pressure in that moment. If you're really hurt or injured, you'll, your body will definitely know. You have to be able to understand that you are in control. In most instances, if you need to quit the moment it gets tough, you'll never get to where you need to be. A trick to mastering your mind in a tough time in football is to know why you are playing. If you are playing just to have fun, know that in the moment of things are getting tough in the game, you, this can literally help you become a better player and that the biggest ballers come out to play when times get tough. If you're trying to play on the next level, pushing yourself through now and bettering yourself will better prepare you for the next level because there will be tougher moments then as well. Whatever you find a purpose in doing in what you're doing, you have to use these tough times as an advantage. Lastly, when things get tough, make sure you are focusing on the task at hand. The ability to do this helps in the best of, of your abilities. An example of doing this was Isaiah Thomas playing in the 1988 NBA Finals. He sprained his ankle in the third quarter of game six. He proceeded to drop 25 points in the third quarter. His team was up 3-2 in the series, and he's seen an opportune time to get them out of the series. Being able to focus on the task at hand and understand that nothing or no one is going to stop you from achieving that task is very important, especially in sports. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our Facebook page at Scotty Sports Performance. And also check out our blog, which the description will be in the description box underneath the video but also please can you comment comment like and also share your thoughts under under the video we would like to have more different ideas and hear what you guys have to say about the video but until then peace